Let's take a little look at the stats. Jesus Christ. This actually did alright. Well, I guess I am continuing the series. Buff Luigi, can you go get some more chunks, please? Yeah, so much of the rope can I out? Como te toro con sana pata de toro con una pepero. Ah, no, no, sin ente, no, pero con ente no donete. What the? Mm. What the fuck is that? Well, surprisingly, you guys loved the video yesterday. Sorry, it's kind of short, but this video is not going to be taken lightly by a lot of viewers. And I just want to say before this starts, this is just my own opinion, okay? This is my own opinion on this, and you guys will obviously have different perspectives on this. But uh, as you've read the title, as you've seen the thumbnail, which is probably why you clicked onto it in pure anger or pure agreement, I hate Tari. Now I really do apologise for saying that. Hate is usually a strong word, however I'm using this word correctly. Tari has been in the SMG4 universe since, what, August 25th, 2018? Since then, she has only had one major part in the SMG4 universe, from what I can remember, and that was to beat Waluigi in the fight of Super Smash Each Other in the Ass Brothers, but with actual Mario in SMG4. I will admit, during this build-up of development of Tari, I thought she was a good character, right? During that time, I thought she was an excellent character and that she wouldn't disappoint. You know, like, it also, in episodes like Bob's Carnival, with the shooting and stuff, it was a good episode that actually featured Tari as a primal character within it. But, sorry, we are here to shed light on this reason why I don't like Tari in the current SMG4 universe. Massive part of what really annoyed me, within the It's Gotta Be Perfect build-up in the episode Mario Day, was the fact that Tari would only be there to delay and slow down the pace of the video. I mean, come on, would you rather have seen Bob do his sexy swagger spin ultra deluxe move into SMG4's door and potentially have a chance of opening a door, or a blue haired gamer that loves ducks take the hammer out of his hands, delaying the scene? On top of this, Tari is such a scaredy cat. Like, I get we can't have everyone be tough within the SM4 universe, or else it will be heavy sided with characters all tough wanting to fight the living heck out of whoever gets in their way. Like, for example, if everyone was psycho, wow! Pretty much the person that they run into are dead. But, like, come on, really? This bad? The Ouija is usually shown as the coward but he can still, still pack a punch worth being in an episode for. For example, in the It's Gotta Be Perfect movie, Luigi actually had a part that he could play. He actually had his own segment. Tari was just, Wah! I didn't like the peace offering. Like, shut up, come on. I'm like, as well as what I'm going to talk about now, which could be some issues regarding the voice actor no longer part of Glitch Studios, but as I'm saying, this is just potential stuff. I don't actually think the voice actor is gone. This is regarding the voice actor no longer part of the Glitch Studio, meaning that they only have the voice clips they got from before, and the voice actor was there. Tari has had the same voice lines or the same script of words to use since her debut. Or the 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 debut the the shut up. There has been maybe some tone shifts and less shyness within the voice with the release of Meta Runner and all of its all of it making the voice actor become more confident. But with the current way SMG4 is shifting into full voice lines with subtitles, Tari feels very left out. Obviously we can't get Charles Marionette on SMG4's casting to voice Mario and Luigi and Wario and all that stuff because that'd be pretty much impossible. But for example, Fishy Bubkins, voiced by Kevin, Neggy, I can't remember, I'm very sorry, SMG3 voiced by James, SMG4 voiced by Luke, Melanie voiced by Wolfie 2, and even small characters like SMG0, 1, 2, God's sake, even Niles, they all had actual voices and development, and you could just 
tell that he could help, he could express the characters so much better. We understood Niles was a bad character from the way of the evil laugh and stuff, but from the very beginning, because of the way he acted and the voice and how he tried to help Melanie, right? It's it literally the emotions can change so much. It's so, so, so good, but. Tari? Tari doesn't have an actual voice with subtitles. She just has a few select voices going, um, so sorry, sorry, oh no, Luigi, Mario, Piggy. Literally, Tari has just been left behind and simply abandoned. Now, I'm not going to say abandoned because obviously she's still being used within the episode, so obviously she hasn't been abandoned. Besides, it was Kevin and Luke's first attempt at an animation studio. I'm just gonna be literal here. The Atari design is good, okay? It's an alright design. And especially for the 2018 to 2021, roughly, just a year before the law lawsuit arc, it fit well with the SG4 universe, you know, with all the other characters having their original designs. But now with everyone literally having a refreshed, remastered design, it makes me wonder. Why did they leave Tari out of it? I mean, we have to exclude the following. Mario, Luigi, Bowser, and then even Melanie. Because Melanie's recent, sort of, since around 2020, 2021. But, yeah, everyone else is Nintendo related, and you can't necessarily change that because it won't give the same vibe. But yeah, Tari's design in the current world as before within the showgrounds is just very awkward. Just there is really outdated. Everyone else is just, you know, they're really good characters, they all, they all belong there, they fit there really well, but Tari seems just too outdated and just not, needs a redesign, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, as I've, as I've also just said, SMG3, SMG4, Maggie, Bubkins, Bob, Psycho, even Kaizo, and then Karen. Karen is a little bit older, but still fits it. They all fit together as one massive bundle. And Melanie is a tiny bit outdated, like a very, very, very tiny bit. Like, she still suits the way of SMG4, but she does seem a tiny bit different compared to all of the other characters, if that makes sense. And then the main reason for it was because Melanie was, you know, trying to fit all the other characters' original designs, so. But Tari, she just seems so out of place. Like, she isn't there anymore. It really does seem she's gonna get seemingly killed off soon due to just a lack of interest of updating her or giving her a new voice and stuff, yeah. But yeah, finally, as well, Tari was only introduced to the SMG4 universe as a sort of way to test how Tari can become in the universe. I wouldn't say this reason fully, that she was only introduced as a way to promote people's interest on Meta Runner, um, but it did seem sort of that way due to how much they tied up with where they released and everything. With Meta Runner Tari literally dead, by the way. Meta Runner Tari is gone, dead. It's only the SMG4 Tari that's alive and standing. So now, what on earth's gonna happen then? Huh? What's gonna happen? SMG4 Tari is the only one alive. Meta Runner Tari is dead, gone. And that's where the prediction comes in. Way. Now I do apologise for not talking much about the prediction in favour of SG4 in the previous one, but that's because there isn't really anything we can do about him. It's SG4, he can't die, he can't become evil, he can't do anything, right? He's like he can become something and become evil things, but he can't die. Right? And if he does die, the entire cast dies, as it's shown in a lawsuit arc. But hey, back to Tari. As I said earlier, the fate of Tari could be coming to a close soon. With the meta on Tari and the show ended as a whole, Tari doesn't seem to have a purpose anymore other than slowing down the pace of some videos as shown in Mario Day. And being a character that just tags along, the last main death we had as well was Axel. All the way back in 2021, the main death of a character was Axel. And with the way everyone has evolved and the most feature their own voice actors now to better suit the subtitles and also their character. Tari has just been left out from the voice revamp, the voice revamp, the design overhaul, and just an overall refresh. And was even pointed out in a lawsuit arc as being absolutely useless. 
But yeah, that ends here. The design was okay for its time, but it definitely needs a design refresh, and if it isn't going to get updated, then I do believe Tari might be coming to a close. But I'm sure I'm unsure who we're gonna uh, you know talk about next. We're just gonna have to find out, and I just elbowed my headset. I'm now in pain.